What is the minimum tank for a beta? Why are large tanks easier to care for than small tanks? Most beta fish owners consider the minimum tank size for bettas before purchasing them. Certainly, beta fish are a vibrant colored and active pet. Anyone would love to own. However, no one would like to spend too much money to set up a home for a beta. The minimum tank size recommended for the average beta fish is 5 gallons. Though, some bettas with excessively long fins live in 2.5 to 3 gallons tank. The truth is, never go below 2.5 gallon tank. Is a 1 gallon tank okay for a beta? A 1 gallon tank is not acceptable for bettas, as it does not provide enough water to dilute toxins, regulate temperature, and no room for a filter and heater. Tanks ranging from a quarter of a gallon to a gallon are commonly sold and stated to be for bettas. But in reality, they are not large enough to house any fish. Not even the smallest fish sold in the aquarium store. Why are large tanks easier to care for than small tanks? Larger tanks are much easier to care for than smaller tanks. Small tanks often experience severe temperature swings, pH swings, level of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. However, larger tanks are not subject to such things due to the large volume of water. It is easier to keep the water parameters stable in a larger tank. And stability is key when keeping fish. Frequent changes in water parameters cause severe stress to fish, sometimes enough to kill them. Unlike any other pet, fish live in closed systems. Anything in the aquarium will stay there until you remove it, which includes fish waste. Fish waste dissolves directly into the water column, which is quite harmful. Once dissolved, the waste produces ammonia, which bacteria convert to nitrite after one weeks. Next. A different type of bacteria convert it to nitrate after another one weeks. Once fully cycled, the bacterial colonies will be large enough to turn ammonia into nitrate after a few hours. In a small tank, the waste from a single beta is enough to cause death within a few days. The waste from one beta in a large tank will not be able to build up to a harmful level. A water volume of 10 gallons or more will easily be able to dilute the waste from a single beta. Why are bettas kept in small tanks and cups? Bettas are normally shipped in small cups, while other fish are usually bagged and placed into larger tanks at the pet store. The primary reason that bettas are kept in cups is because it is very difficult to keep bettas with other fish unless you can provide them with adequate space, which most pet stores simply can't do. Bettas are shipped individually and have to be kept individually. So keeping them in small containers is the most efficient way to do. Other fish, such as tetras, goldfish, and rospras, can be bagged together and shipped. Sometimes several hundred fish to a bag. If this was common practice for bettas, it would be a bloodbath. Bettas live in small containers simply due to the ignorance of new owners. They see bettas in small cups. And see a slightly larger tank for sale near the bettas. They assume that it is acceptable to keep them in such a horrendously small tank. What happens if you put a betta in a large tank or pond? The myth that bettas will drown in large tanks is very common, though the source of the misinformation is unknown. Betta fish are, well, fish, and have very functional gills. They are adept swimmers, thrive in large tanks, and are less likely to drown than other fish. If you put a betta in a large tank or a pond, they will be extremely happy and use the entire space. They do not have any increased risk of drowning and will likely live a much longer lifespan if kept in a large tank.